Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. We are in the first chapter, first level of Act 2, which is Celica. So it's just fighting terrors in a graveyard. That's a common theme in Celica's route. Terrain bears no influence on magic. I remember Sir Myson saying Yes, so. we know this. Thank you, Listen, fellow Celica. Friends, Actually, maybe you wouldn't know that if I didn't tell you. you attack. Even if our foes cower in the woods, our spells will find their mark. Yes, because magic is magic. Magic always hits things, except when it, you know, when it doesn't. All right, May, stand on the gravestone. Gravestones are basically better forts. Um, but well, you can stand here. Salah could be ready to fight anybody, and Jenny just looked pretty. <laughs> fight you, yeah. Yeah, so like I said, May is good, Bowie is not. May is a standard mage. Really fast, really strong, but like a, like a light as a feather. Like, you, like, breathe on her too hard and she dies. Bowie is just the opposite. He's a ma- he's still a mage, though. But he's defensive. He's slow. So, like, look at this. See, he's a slow, defensive mage. I guess there are- there is use for that? It's just- that's not what I usually want in a mage. Maybe I'm wrong to think this way, but, like... I'm sure there's a use for Bowie, don't get me wrong. Bowie is not a, like, a completely worthless unit. He, he kinda is, though. He, he I, I don't know how to explain it, except I don't think he's very good. Uh, should I attack? Oh, and Celica can attack with a sword or magic. So, Celica is really freaking good. She's, she gets, she got a lot of crappy level ups in my playthrough, though, so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Uh, and Jenny, you can't do anything. Good. Oh, I guess you could have healed Bowie. Whoops. Oh, well. Who needs to heal Bowie? Miss. Fire! Fire! The only damage May has taken is from using her fire spell. Uh, we could probably just keep her on the graveyard. They'll keep going for her, because she has the lowest defense. Oh, except for Jenny. Uh... Alright, we'll use fire on this guy, Celica. Fire! Fire! All right, uh, Jenny, you, hold on, no, hold on. Bowie, can you attack this guy? Look, and Bowie's also not even as strong. Like, if he's, yeah, Bowie sucks. Bowie sucks. He's, he, he's not a good mage. He's, I, part of me highly considered using a uh, villager fork on him. Because, you know, I, I plan to give one to Salika's root. Um... The problem is, he's not that good in general. Like, I feel like his stats, they could they could work okay for some classes, but I almost don't care. Like, I feel like there are some units that could use so much better than him. And I actually have an idea of who I might want to use it on. I don't know off I don't honestly know offhand. I do know who I'm using. I am using... There's only three pitchforks we get. Um, I'm... I, I've already used one on Clive. I know the other one I'm using in Alm's Root. I know who's gonna get it. I'm not telling you who though, and or when. But I know who it is. I do want to use one in Celica's Root, but I'm not sure who it should be. I considered Bowie for the same reason I considered Clive, because he sucks as the class he is right now. But honestly, I just, unlike Clive, who I felt was okay because I can make him do a Paladin, he'll get a good stat boost, then I can round him back to the start and get more level ups. That was honestly the only reason I thought Clive could be salvageable. I don't know if the same could be said for Bowie, though. I, again, I could be wrong, but I, I don't think I am. Um, go for this guy right next to you. I know that might seem silly, but Jenny can heal you. I just don't want Jenny to be able to get attacked, so. He, she might still be able to from this formation, but oh well. She won't get hurt very badly. No, she won't be attacked. See? Told you, we're fine. Alright, and he's going for Bowie. Bowie's not even going to kill him back because Bowie sucks. It might be because I'm saying he sucks, does that mean I'm going to try not to level him up? No. I'm still going to try to use him as best I can. I'm good to go. I will feed him kills, just like any other unit. And I w do want to make him a sage at some point because he's got to use. I got to make him useful for something, right? If, if he can't. Fight good, he'll be an extra healer, at the very least. So. Uh, 
Um, yeah, why not? Fireball this guy. You must complete your mission. Yeah, you just started it, Celica. You just started it. You gotta complete it. Uh, you turn to heal Bowie, Jenny. Yay! Healing! And they're probably gonna go for May because May is very squishy. Ow! Although we're just fighting like walking experience dummies, so it's we're not it's not really a problem right sure. now. I'm so hyper. Let's go. Also, uh, did I mention this? I absolutely love May, both as a character and a unit. Like, if I had to tell you offhand who my favorite character of this whole game is, it might be honestly be her. If she is not number one, she she's up there. Cause like she's just like fun. Like I don't know how to, she's fun to use. She's fun to be around as a character. Like I don't know. She's just fun. All right, and then you can kill. You can't kill this guy. Black magic this guy. The black magic part is important. But you don't, you don't want to heal him by accident. Ow. Move. I won't ask forgiveness. I don't know why she's. A, I don't know, that's a weird thing to say. Move. Probably like, oh, it doesn't even go for Jenny. Jenny's wide open, but he's going for May. Probably because Jenny was on a I'm graveyard. Strong, you know. Oh well, I'm pretty strong, you know. <laughs> All right, that was the first battle of, of Selica's route. Whew. Talk about a close one. Really, May? Really, that was a close one. So you're gonna learn something real quick after this battle. That that's a recurring thing. Watch, we leave, and they're back. Congratulations! That's how you grind, if you want. No, don't go back. No, 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 I'm trying to... Uh, uh, yeah, unclick, yeah. Graveyards, they respawn their undead almost right away. So you can grind if you want. Inst if, instead of grinding in dungeons, you can just grind in graveyards if you want. I honestly don't know why you wouldn't do dungeons, because then you can also get, like, money and items. I guess you could technically get that in graveyards sometimes, but I find... I find more luck in dungeons, personally. So... Also, want to know something funny? My very first playthrough, but not the second where I actually played the entire game, this dun- I completely missed this dungeon. Like, I went this way, and I fought this guy, I fought this dragon right here, I thought, oh cool, I beat the dragon! And then I'm back with that. <laughs> I didn't get- I didn't even look at- I didn't know this dungeon existed. But then I looked at it a second time on my second playthrough, I'm like, wait, what is this? Oh, I'm glad I- I'm even more glad that I started over. Because I, I completely missed a part of the game, apparently. But it also means that you can go the whole game without going in some dungeons. Are you thinking of leaving for Zofia, perchance? Yes, if so, I, I am. Fear you may be in for some disappointment. Oh, what happened Ships now? Aren't sailing, or so I'm told. Too many pirates about. Well, that's okay. I just got the Black Pearl in the last episode, so we'll just go ask him for that. And we can, you know, obliterate all these pirates. They smell like a tavern floor, but that saber's a skilled sell Oh, it's Saber. He's another guy. Yeah. In need of steel, We're gonna meet him soon, but I guess he's also up there, my favorite characters as well. So if that steel needs a history fit for retelling in polite company, well, he's strong though. I'll, I'll talk about more when we meet him, but I yeah, I've got a bunch of things you can say about him, but I'll wait till we meet him. All right, uh, anything around that I can pick off the ground and say, ooh, look at this cool thing I found. Well, a fish stall. It's fish for sale, huh? Well, I'm just gonna take this and no, uh, just walk away. Just walk away. I, I like how she would acknowledge, oh, it's fish for sale. And she just takes one and leaves. And yeah, that, that's it, okay. All right, uh, let's not go to the tavern. They would just, nothing happens if you go there first. So let's just go here. Um. I believe you can take. There's fish. Where I believe there's a fish you can take. Where, yeah, like there's these barrels of fish. We could only take the one on there and the one on this ground right here. That's it. Also, for some reason, herrings are like really good healing items. If the, if, like really early in the game, they're really freaking good healing items, and you only get those two. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Chancellor to say has taken up. As he hears another implication, Sophia this Cassie. happened the same time as Alm Act One. King makes you next you see, line. they're saying to say is currently tyrant. in charge of Sophia's castle, Sir, even though you know we just freed it. So. Has gathered an army to run him off. Yep, but and this is Sir Clive has parts, been the deliverance, and, and yeah, and they're sucking right now. Slow. So that's why then Lucas goes and finds out. Heading out to see, my lady. Be careful out there amongst the waves. Why is he saying that? You can't actually leave right now, as we're about to find out. Of these waters. 
He sits in his island hole to the east and commits what barbary he pleases. Oh, barbary? So Just he's like a barber shop? He gives haircuts? Had his whole oh. family slain set out for revenge. Revenge? What? Do they get like a really bad haircut or something? Fate. Wow. At least he'll be reunited with his kin. So bad, give him such bad a haircut that they died. Um, excuse me, but <laughs> ah, Lady Priestess, welcome. Something I can help you. Oh, he's with the same today. guy that was at the castle who told I us that to plot point that we pretended to ignore. Hmm. I'm afraid that's a difficult wish to grant, even for your priestess. This patch of sea is teeming with pirates of late. It's just too dangerous. Oh, yeah, that's so no good. Too many pirates, yeah. That being said, if Milady were to do something about those pirates, well, see what I mean? Like, together now, I, I wasn't all completely you kidding at the be like at the end of last episode when I was talking about. Solid Kalibi goes like, no one else seems and to yet, care about these, these problems we're all having. I mean, they care, but they're not doing line. anything about it. They're just kind of like this sulking in their depressedness. We can't live cut off from her. So yeah, Salak is like, well, screw this. I'm gonna go out and help. Sophia. Hmm. Forgive me, milady, but I can't get you across the sea so long as. So yeah, they're basically sailing. telling us, well, if you I guys can take care of the pirates, then yeah, pieces, we'll take you across the sea. But if you would lend us your strength. Yeah, it's kind of crappy, hmm. but whatever. What are we supposed to do now? I can't believe that old timer tossed his pirate problem right at our feet. Exactly, May. Exactly. Look like the type to fight pirates. <laughs> We're delicate little blossoms. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Regardless, the man is right. We'll not get anywhere until ships are free to sail again. What do you propose, my lady? Let's gather what help we can find. You just need to find one extra guy. Start. That's it. One extra guy, and he's like, "Oh, and now you're ready to fight pirates." Besides. Yeah. We'll not make it very far traveling alone. We need allies. Strong ones. Yes, and mad enough to set sail into pirate-infested waters with us. I'm sure they'll just be lining up to take the job. They will, actually. There's only one person to pick from, and we're going to go find him right now. He's in the tavern. But first, let's look all just take people's drinks off the table. Ah, you don't need that, right? You don't need that? No, I didn't think you needed that. Take that, I'll take that. Oh, a sausage just on the table. I'm sure no one was eating that. Leftover. Yeah, it's supposed to mean, meaning someone was in the middle of drinking it. It's uh, some cheese. Some I just found in the corner over here. And yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. That's it. Oh, there's garlic on the ceiling. I don't think I found that in my other playthroughs. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look familiar. Oh, well. Okay, cool. There's a shrine on a small island up ahead, you know. Wow, they even tell me there's a dungeon there. Otherworldly sword. Wow, Other they even tell me there's a dungeon there and I missed it. <laughs> for such stories, so, so again, good thing I started warning. over and played, a, played so through it. Turns out that island is home to a terrible necro dragon. Eat you in a single bite, it will. Oh no, well, it, fear, it doesn't. First. It, its mouth isn't oh, that big. Just the thought of it is enough to turn my hair to white. I'm gonna talk to this guy. For a while, I was obsessed with making my own tinctures. What the heck is a tincture? I mean, for some reason, all the side quest characters don't have voicing. There's all those medical medicine will serve you these uh, three mana herbs. I don't have three mana herbs. And here's Saber. Your Saber, yes? How the heck does she know? Yep. Oh, I guess they said in the Who first part. Who are you, part. girl? Who are you, girl? My name is Celica. <laughs> the people here speak quite highly of your skill with a blade. I'd like to enlist your services as a protector. Guard duty, huh? You headed somewhere, or is this a local deal? We seek the Temple of Mila. That's awfully yeah, the far. complete other side of Zofia. For some reason, Zofia decided to build it like right on the border it's with Regal. Like it's literally way. right on the border. Unless you think a few mere pirates are too much for you to handle. <laughs> That's real cute. <laughs> Believe me, lass, I ain't worried about a couple sea rats. All I'm worried about is if you can pay. I don't work charity cases. Especially when I'm risking my own neck. I'm afraid I haven't much money. But I do have this. Yeah, I've got this dagger, dagger. except I'm not really giving it to you because anyone on our party can still well, use it. Just Saber's gonna come equipped with Will it in the next battle. I can still move it anybody who I want. Will I risk life and limb for a single dagger? Ordinarily, so no. in other words, Saber gets but completely ripped off. <laughs> since I like your moxie, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a break. <laughs> you got a deal. 
I'll get you to your temple. Wonderful. You have my thanks, Saber. May, Bowie, did you hear that? He's going to come with us. Hooray! <laughs> this job's got easy money written all over it. Except we're gonna take what the dike right back. What hands over treasure like this without batting an eye? <laughs> she really must be daddy's spoiled little lass. Spoiler alert, she hated her father and he's dead. <laughs> and actually wasn't a spoiler, I mean a spoiler to Saber. That's what I meant by that. Okay, but watch, look. She, he just has the golden dagger. Well, now Selic has it again. <laughs> but I don't actually want him to have it, I want Selic to have it. Because Selic needs a little extra... And power in her sword slice. Well, again, I guess she most she can use magic too. Oh, well, whatever. Well, I can I can switch back well, into it. I'd be honored to do my part, milady. Come aboard. We'll depart as soon as you're ready. Hooray! We're ready now. <sighs> What's wrong, Celica? Feeling blue? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. It's just that the last time I was on a ship was when I came to the island. Hey, that's right. Bowie and I used to take little trips every now and again, but never with you. Shame we never got to travel as a group. Oh, wait, that means you would have had to cross the graveyard of someone. Bowie was like, we've never Are crossed you here before. completely daft, oh. May? Celica came here in hiding, remember? She can't just announce herself by hopping aboard a pleasure cruise. Why not? Uh, It'd be I know fun to play Bowie. pleasure cruise. Of course I do. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm happy we're getting the chance now. Isn't that right, Celica? Please stop talking before you dig a grave so deep we all go tumbling in. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Bowie, really. And I'm happy to be traveling with you as well, May. Though I'm also anxious. What could have happened to Mila? Will we even make it to the temple to find out? No. Nope. And... No, you'll die. And... <laughs> I'm sorry. Best I keep this one to myself. What? Oh, that's just mean! Oh, she's here to tell us. So. Um, where are you right now? And what are you doing? Are you oh, we're just still killing some bandits. Village with Grandpapa? No. I can tell. You've left your home behind, haven't you? I don't know how she knows this. I want this, to see you so whatever. badly. There's so much I need to ask. Perhaps Mila will cause our paths to cross on this journey. So, yeah, okay. I didn't have much to say about that cutscene, but. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna see a, a cutscene over there, in that temple, way over there. And that's Jetta. We saw him before. And that's a giant eyeball. <laughs> that's, uh, random. Are you in pain, my lord Ah, the giant eyeball is Lord Duma. At my heart. So, Duma's temple is way in the far in north of Regal, but Zophia decided to put Mila's temple right on the border at Regal? That was very smart. I think Mila's temple should be down this island that Zelika starts on. But, eh, nah. That would have been too easy. <laughs> or too, that would have made too much sense or something. Alright, so let's start the first real level. Fighting this random pirate ship. The first pirate raid. There's a lot of pirate raids. Yar! Not a step further, ye scurvy dogs! Well, that's the same guy on first saw after he left the, the village. He's like, the same exact guy. <laughs> the pirate king, as you're surely aware. That means he needs pay a toll. All your goods and women will do nicely. <laughs> An interesting offer. But I fear we must nevertheless decline. The yeah, we like our women! Man. We're gonna keep them! She's a gift to every citizen of Zofia. Yar, who be the mouthy witch? Enough with the chit-chat. Reason and logic are wasted on sea dogs like Well, you. I guess I can explain why I like That's Saber so much. business already. That's what you hired me for, ain't it? So, pretty much every Fire Emblem game has, Let's like, go, this, everyone. I don't know, like, edgy guy who doesn't speak much and is, like, dark, you know, edgy. I don't know how else to say it, but edgy. Saber is that guy in this game, except he's actually a funny character and he talks a lot and is, like, enjoyable and he's a very good unit. You know what I mean? 
I don't I don't know if I'm explaining it very well, but like that's why I like him. He's he's actually interesting as opposed to just the edgy mysteriousness being their character. What are some examples? Uh, Jafar in Fire Emblem Seven, aka Fire Emblem No Subtitle. Um, I guess this formation is fine. Uh, Saber take the front line, so you can handle it. And then May and Celica will fire other things from behind. And that's that's how we'll do this level. Um. Who else is a good, good example? Oh, Lan Ku from Awakening. Who who is it in Fate? Is there someone in Fate? Who is this? Who's that guy? I, I honestly can't think of offhand. Um. Salika, burn him. Burn it. You know, maybe the Saber should have the Golden Dagger. Because Salika can use fire. Burn! All thanks to the mother. It wasn't due to your own magical skills. Okay. My skills on the battlefield. All right, good. Attack, skill, and speed. Nice. Very, very good level up, Salika. Uh, You'll need more of watch. those. All right, uh, you're gonna trade with Salika. Boop. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all you're gonna do. And uh, that's all anyone's gonna do. Heal Salika. Why not? This is how most of these maps are gonna go in the ships, because you just guard a plank and they can't do anything. You just fight them one at a time. So, I'll, I'll take turns with like healing and using different people to fire magic. Like, uh, make use thunder now, which shoots from three spaces away. So, that's very good. And all for me! Second skill, all right. It's an A level up, that's fine. All right, uh, Saber, walk one step forward and attack. Golden Dagger. It's nice. Golden Dagger's not exactly helping in this situation, but that's fine. All right, we're gonna use this on this, and we're gonna do a thing. Bowie's probably not gonna help very much this battle, is he? Oh, well. Completely unnecessary critical hit, but that's all right. I better pull my weight, too. Yep. Better if this lass who hired you is killing more things than you. Yes, you better step up your game, Saber. All right, axe chop, slice, critical hit. There was he didn't have a quote. I'm probably because I was speeding up. The sound clips jumbled together, and the game didn't think to give him a to play his uh, crit quote. That's fine. Slice, slice. Uh, these battles are so unimportant; it's not even funny. So that's why I'm I'm speeding through them. Okay, so I'll gotta take a step back. Jenny, you need to heal the saber. Alright, um. Can you kill it? Yes. Murder. Kill, murder, pillage, destroy. Good job, saber. And that's about it. What if I put Bully up front? See, look, he's a defensive mage, but he'll get doubled because he's a slow mage. How ridiculous is that? I'd argue it's very, very ridiculous and upsetting. All right, saber finish. This you won't finish this guy off. What the heck? Um, Jenny, take a step back. May use fireballs. Great balls of fire. Oh, you are reliable, May. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we'll attack you. You'll be in Saber will be just fine because he's Saber. His name literally means a type of blade. So you can feel the edge that they were thinking of when they made his character. Literal. His name is an edge. A sharp edge. But unlike character un like I said unlike other character he's actually an interesting character he's not just an edgy dude in my opinion all right uh here cut and then that was just the boss we will take care of him like we took of every single other one of his minions by just drawing him out then murdering him with everything we have <coughs> sorry slice 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 and level for Saber! What are you gonna get? Skill and speed. Well, Am I sharp today or... get it? Sharp? His 
name's a saber! It's... He is at an edge. They were trying real hard, guys. Can you tell? They were trying real hard to get across the fact that he's edgy. Like, like they tried too hard. All right. Um, is there any way Bowie can get this kill? What if Celica attacks up close? Yeah, that would work. Never mind. You better be sorry, Celica. Bowie was supposed to get that kill. But no, now Bowie's gonna suck forever because you got a critical hit. All because of you. All the only reason. No, don't play with that Celica. Bowie will suck even when he levels up. Eh, a win's a win. Eh, eh, it was, it was fine. It was fine. Oh, whatever. All right. Well, that that was that battle. That was fun. How long did that battle take? What, five minutes? Uh, next one. Did we change anything around? No. Salika's got some bread. That's nice. Oh yeah, because like when I gave him the golden dagger, he wasn't holding anything. Yeah, bread works. I think we get a leather shield in this next one. That's really helpful. I, I like to give that to Saber, personally, because I put him in the front lines a lot. Because um, made uh, Zelika doesn't get a whole lot of defensive units on her team. And when she does, um, well, there you get a knight later. It actually just the next level, actually. But he's he's helpful for these ship levels, but later on, uh, Zelika's route is all desert. Which, if you guys know anything about Fire Emblem, deserts, you can't move very far in deserts. Which makes, uh, knights move even slower than they normally do. Okay, this chapter is actually, this one's actually a bit tricky. It, it's a slightly bigger ship. There's two ways they can try to kill us. But it really just comes down to blocking this way, and then a couple will come this way because they're like, I don't want to wait over there. So, ah, let's give it a try. Uh, I already saved it after the other one, so let's do this. We're probably going right. to stop this episode in a couple turns, so. I'm ready for anything. Oh, you can talk to me. Good. I really like their support conversation. Hello, May. I'm managing well enough, I imagine. I think it starts off pretty simple, but... but if you do want to start slacking, you just leave things to me. Yeah, feel free to slack off if you want. You're always so full of energy, May. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much my one selling point. Well, that and zapping fools. Now get ready, because I'm gonna help the heck out of you today. Oh, come on, how can you not like May? She's just funny. Like, in a, in a really, like, out there kind of way. You know what I mean? She's just, like, loud and obnoxious, but in a non-annoying way, at least in my opinion. Are they really all going this way? No, there's two coming that direction. Oh, oh three coming that direction. Okay. Hey, Bowie, be helpful for once and draw those guys out. Um, Celica. Uh, actually, I want you... To black magic, this guy. By that I mean thunder. Oh, I can't, you couldn't even see it because of the plank. <laughs> I won. I didn't even lay in the. I, could, I cl killed you blindfolded. All right. Um, if I do this, that's actually not a smart idea. That is not a smart idea. I'm gonna keep these guys the way they are. I'm just gonna have Jenny heal May, and everyone else is gonna stay put because I want Saber on the front lines right there. I don't know who they're gonna use to attack. Either this leather shield guy or the boss. Maybe. You did get love. You did. You did get luck in that level up. So, oh, let's start with the archer, of course. Miss. Heh <laughs> heh. Here comes the boss, who is not a real character, so he doesn't have his own battle theme, which is fine. And we learned the plentitude combat art, which is basically Nosferatu, but in a sword. And Bowie's getting doubled. Our mage is getting doubled. Yeah, guys, Bowie's, Bowie will totally be a good unit eventually. <laughs> okay, so this archer, um, he could attack May. What's his range? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, three, so standard. One, two, three. So, one, two, three. He has to be standing on the boss's slot to hit May, so I don't honestly think he'll do that. Um, Celica, burn this guy to a crisp, please. If you miss, okay, Bowie can finish him off. Hooray, good job. And a little level for Celica. Nice. Nice job. Attack and speed. Okay. What can what more can I ask for from Celica? What more can I really ask for? Um I kinda wanna heal Saber, but if I do Uh 
hold on a minute. May is a defense of two. You will do seven. Will you get doubled? This is a weight of three. Four. No, you want two speed. No. Um, so no. May will be fine, even if she gets hit by an archer. So I want you to fireball this dude. Alright, and then Saber, I want you to plentitude this guy. Plentitude! And a pointless critical hit! See, I just absorbed his 6 HP. Look at that. That's a really freaking good ability. It's just you can never double. Aw, oh, just defense. Alright, that's fine. He doesn't get defense too often, so I guess that's an okay level up to get. Then again, I guess of all you get a couple other mercenaries in this route, uh, in 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 uh, Celica's route, and I guess Saber is the most defensive of all of them in retrospect. But still, in the end, he is a mercenary class, so he is he still excels in skill and speed. And boy, hey, might as well shoot this guy with fire. I mean, you're not doing anything else. And it's not like he'll hit you back. He will this turn, though, because you'll get doubled, because you're Bowie. And this archer thing is a good idea to go up close to the point where May can actually fight back. Good job. Good job, Mr. Archer. That was a real smart move you just did there. Huh? Was that a mosquito? Yes. Yes, May. Just a mosquito. This guy's a crit chance! Ow. Ow. Okay, well, that would have killed me if I if that crit hit, because uh, he doubled Saber. It's kind of weird. This guy's gonna go for Celica. I don't think. Oh, this is actually. Oh, never mind. I thought Celica wouldn't kill him, but no, Celica's already too good. I wanted Boy to kill something to get something, but no, he can't because he's Bowie. All right, Jenny, you need to heal Saber very badly. Um. If I do this, Saber will die. And this guy has crit chance. What is this guy's speed? One higher! If Saber had gotten speed in his last level up, he would not be getting doubled right now. That sucks. Alright, you're gonna have to thunder this guy. Um, that's very low accuracy. That's not good. Uh, but it's all we can really do, isn't it? That is all we can really do. I'll say that for the next episode, actually. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you all next time where we're gonna kill these guys and hopefully not die ourselves. Hope you look forward to that. See you then. Rock on.